Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville today. And I've got something really exciting because it's been such a big hit for our Glock 43X. It's our uh, new EDC Magwell for the Glock 19 Gen 5. Now, let me first uh, uh, back up here and tell you that, you know, we, we made one for the G43X. And this is basically it. It's an EDC Magwell. Uh, and you can see I've got my $35 holster, which is really great. This is my 43X, my carry gun. You see, I just pulled it right out of my, uh, my belt inside waistband. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the magazine, double check that this is empty. And it is. And we can kind of play with it a little bit. I can show you that this is, like I said, the EDC Magwell. And the concept behind the Magwell is not necessarily being able to reload faster. Okay. And that's one of the features of a Magwell. But in my mind, it gives you a better grip because that extra meat right there forces your hand up into that little beaver tail. And the higher up you can be, the more control you have of recoil. Okay, it's just really, you know, kind of physics there. You know, the higher up you are, if I'm down here, this, you know, this action is going to be there. If I get up on top of that, it's going to just and going to give me an ability to control the gun better, to shoot flatter faster, more accurately keep the sights aligned as I manipulate the trigger. Now, that said, it also has a little bit extra meat here on the front, and you can see how it just pushes my hand up onto it as well, onto the, uh, underneath the trigger guard there. So it, uh, it, it serves, in my mind, like I said, there's two purposes. One, certainly you can reload faster, all that stuff. You know, it gives you a little bit bigger place to, you know, place the, uh, uh, the magazine. But really, I think it just improves your grip so much, and it's such a big uh, difference in my mind, the way that I have a kind of an index point. I know where I'm at. I can kind of feel it with my hand. I can feel it with my little pinky finger. I know I'm in the right spot. I know I'm as high up on the gun as possible. Uh, it uh, really, it, I think it's a game changer in my mind. I, I think it's perfect for this 43X. And... It's been so well received by our customers. We've, you know, literally had, you know, great success with it. I decided let's go ahead and do a whole series. We're going to do it here now for the, uh, the, uh, the 19 Gen 5. Uh, here is the 19 Gen 5. And this is an unusual one because this is a threaded barrel Gen 5. It's a factory threaded barrel. So a lot of people haven't seen these before, but it's kind of neat. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the magazine. Double check inside. It is in fact empty. Now the 19 is a great gun because uh, it's uh, you know compact and it's easy to carry. In fact, many people don't know this. The 19 size, the Glock 19, is the most popular Glock in the USA, and that's because it really is. Uh, it's a shooter because it's not too small. Uh, it's a um, uh, a gun that just you know can be concealed easily. Uh, it can be you know put away easy. It's, it's not, you know, the full size, the full size Glock 17 is the most popular gun in the world because of handgun that is, uh, because it, um, is used by military and law enforcement worldwide. But the 19, uh, is the most popular in the USA because a lot of civilians really gravitated it toward it because it's, you know, a little smaller than the uh, the 17 is easier to uh, manipulate, easier to shoot in, uh, in a concealed carry scenario. So what you'll notice, though, on this grip is my fingers come, my little pinky finger comes off at just a little bit at the very bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see here. Just a little bit right there. So after working with that 43X, which is now becoming very, very popular, Still not as popular as the 19 style, I will tell you. What's interesting about the 43X is, and the 19 is they are basically the same size. I mean, as far as that grip goes, it's basically the same size. It's a little shorter, but overall, the 43X and the 19 are almost the same. The difference is the slim line versus the double stack. And that's why the 43X is becoming very, very popular because this one is so easy to conceal you basically forget about it. So uh, that's what's really cool about it. Now, so back to the EDC. We just got them done. This one's just off the machine. Uh, we've tumbled it, it's gone, and we've got them out to hard or to uh, uh, anodize right now. It's an aluminum piece, it's one body, okay? One piece, one body, in a sense that uh, there's the, the actual plug that 
helps capture it into the frame is attached. Now we didn't want this one to be heavy like our big mouth magwell. That's more of a competition piece and that extra brass weight really helps reduce recoil. Because this is more of a concealed carry option, we wanted this to be light and so we didn't use a brass plug, we just put the whole thing in aluminum. Uh, we made it really tight. So the installation is a little bit tricky sometimes. People are going to call me, I know, or they're going to call the CSRs and they're going to say, hey, it's not fitting. It will fit, okay? I'm going to show you, okay? So the first and the most important thing to do is make sure your gun is unloaded, okay? i got to say that, you know, for the lawyers and everybody, boom, unloaded, right? Magazine's out, no ammunition around here, boom. Okay, pull the trigger in a safe direction. Did I mention, by the way, this is a, th a threaded barrel? I think I did. Yes, I did. And did I mention the suppressor sights that come from the factory? I don't think I did. That's why I wanted, I just saw this. So let me show you this. These come with suppressor sights. Uh, it's a factory Glock 19 Gen 5 threaded. We don't get a lot of these, but um, we have one now. You know, they kind of come and go a little bit, but if you're interested in one, you know, this is the place to buy it here at the Glock store. Now, back to the EDC. Like I said, unloaded gun. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop this in. Now, the trick to this is to put the nose in first, which is the front section. So right here. So I want to go ahead and get that in. I want to, I want to line it up. I want to kind of seat it, okay? And then I'm going to come back around the back side, and I'm going to look there, and it's going to say, oh, wow, it's not going to fit. But if I, if I squeeze it on, okay, and I squeeze it, literally, I have to really give it some muscle here and push it, it will fit, okay? Trust me, I just did it a moment ago. <laughs> so here it goes. There it is. Okay, so it just went on. So you have to push it and put, you know, put a little bit of muscle into it. Don't call and say it doesn't fit because it does fit and it's tight by design. Once you get it on, you know, take a, something and just kind of tap it on a little bit. Make sure it's fully seated in the back, it's fully seated there, everything looks good. And then with the EDC Magwell, you get the set screw to lock it in place and you get a little Allen wrench, of course. And we're just going to tighten that screw down here, okay? And all this does is it keeps it so there's no way it's going to come out. You just screw it tight enough so that it uh, is flush with the frame so it doesn't intersect with your hand. And there it is. Now let's just check this out now. So the concept, again, is that we've got a little bit more meat in the front for your pinky finger to drive it up to the uh, underneath the trigger guard. A little bit more meat on the back side of the rear strap to drive your hand up on the beaver tail and give you a place to uh, index it. It feels great, looks great, super lightweight. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It, it improves your grip and makes it a little easier to actually load uh, magazines. It fits with all the different magazine extensions. Uh, this is a factory magazine. That's real important that it actually fits. You don't have to jam it up there too hard because it's not that big of a magwell. Boom. It actually is a fantastic item that I think you're going to really like. Now, it is available in different colors. Like I said, this is kind of a raw one, but we've got them in black, of course, and we've got them in blue and gold and red and uh, silver and uh, probably some other colors as well. And uh, we will do custom ones uh, if you're interested. So uh, bottom line is, uh, if you have a Glock 19 Gen 5, have I got a magwell for you. This is our EDC Everyday Carry, the EDC series of magwells. I've got it for the 43, 43X, should I say, and now for the Glock 19 Gen 5, and soon to be the Glock 19 Gen 3, and soon to be the Glock uh, 17 Gen 5, and then, of course, the 17 Gen 3. So we're kind of stepping through these things. Uh, this one was first, and it's been super well received. Because there's so many Glock 19 Gen 5s out there, I just went right into it because I feel that, you know, this is a great gun, and it really, when you feel this and you actually feel what it does to your pinky, you're going to know exactly what I mean. It is a game changer. So, it's our new Glock 19 Gen 5 EDC Magwell. Get one today because, uh, well, we're going to make them. We're going to continue to make them, but they are going to go fast. And that I know for sure. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Got lots of cool Glock stuff to talk about. There, it's continuing to uh, evolve every day. There's something new to talk about. So, make sure you subscribe. 
Uh, check us out on Rumble as well. This is being YouTube. And um, uh, come down to Nashville sometime and check out the uh, facility you have. This is the mothership of the Glock store. Uh, we've got manufacturing. We've got our warehouse. We ship out of here. We ship over 1,000 packages a day. Uh, we appreciate your business. Appreciate you watching. And uh, thanks for being part of the Glock store business. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.